So growing up, my grandparents lived on a channel in a, in a lake in California that right across was a house that this guy had a parrot. All day, every day, my brother and I are out fishing and all we could hear from inside the house was this scream for someone named Les. Les was the owner of the house, who was screaming was actually more of a what was screaming. It was his parrot. I don't know if, if like, the parrot was just repeating what the wife was always screaming, like, Les! And, and the parrot just got it stuck in its head to just constantly yell for Les at a really loud, high pitch scream. It was quite comical, <laughs> to be honest. In fact, after a while, we started doing it ourselves. All day, every day, because we thought it was funny. Now, this story, I think, is equally as funny. Deputies in Palm Beach, Florida, were called to somebody's house the other day because they heard somebody screaming at the top of their lungs. And to clarify, I shouldn't say somebody, more of a something. The victim was a parrot. Yeah. <laughs> so, the story goes, the homeowner was outside changing the brakes on his wife's car. The parrot was inside the house screaming at the top of its lungs, help, help, let me out. The neighbor next door panicked and called the cops. So now four cops show up at this guy's house saying, who's in the house? We need to get them out. We think that you've, you know, kidnapped somebody. And he goes, no, 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 <laughs> that's my parrot. Rambo. He named his parrot Rambo. <laughs> it's a 40-year-old parrot. So it's like Rambo number one. Back when Rambo was cool. Now I'm sure Rambo number six is equally as cool, but Rambo one, the original, by far. So the cop went and introduced Rambo to the cops, made a big thing out of it, and then the cops went over and explained it to the neighbor. It's okay. Don't panic. And then the neighbor introduced Rambo to the neighbor. And all is well. Uh, luckily, the neighbor had a good laugh about it. Um, the homeowner taught the parrot to yell that when he was just a little kid uh, because the uh, Rambo was in a cage all day. And so he just taught it to yell, let me out. The part of the story that I don't really get is, is this a new neighbor? Or has Rambo always been kept in a soundproof room? Parrots are loud. I don't know if you've ever really heard one scream. They're really loud. Not to mention, I don't know if you've ever heard peacocks scream, but when they get going... Their cry sounds like a woman screaming help. So, with that being said, the next time you hear the scream for help or help, help, let me out, just let it go. It's probably just a parrot. Nothing to worry about. Don't call the cops. Use 911 for emergencies. No need to bother with somebody screaming help or let me out. Uh, so there's your Tuesday news day. Once again, we're picking on Florida. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumb up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share because sharing is caring. We'll see you later. Bye.